Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm really privileged to be joined by Dr. Mark Schuster. Dr. Schuster is the founding dean and CEO of the Kaiser Permanente Bernard J. Tyson School of Medicine, which opened earlier this year. Before assuming that role, he had a long career in the Harvard system and at UCLA, during which he held various leadership positions. He is recognized as an international leader in research on child, adolescent, and family health, and is a member of the prestigious National Academy of Medicine. So can you start by telling us a bit about yourself and uh, how you got into medicine and then specifically pediatrics? Well, in college, I got involved with um, converting the campus to become more accessible for someone who would use a wheelchair. That got me very interested in health policy issues. And then I worked in Congress for a congresswoman one summer on health issues. And that got me thinking that I'd like to work in health advocacy. I also, around that time, met a pediatric surgeon and asked him if I could shadow And I came away from that experience thinking that I might want to be working with patients as well. Um, But I didn't have an instant decision. I was a history major in college, and I um, thought and thought and thought and eventually decided that I would like to both work with patients and work um, in policy research. And then in terms of pediatrics, I didn't really know what field I wanted to go into, and I just started doing my third-year rotations in med school, where each month you do a different specialty. It was easy to like the children, but I also liked the parents, which wasn't always true for my classmates. I enjoyed the parents and understood their fears and, and frustrations, and I really liked the doctors and nurses and social workers, and everyone in pediatrics just felt so committed to the patients and so nurturing, and I, I found my home. I was happiest during my pediatric month and then did more pediatric rotations and confirmed that it was a a good place for me. What advice have you given to your inaugural class of uh, students and what what, what advice would you give to other people considering careers in healthcare, especially given all the uh, um, turbulence of this past year uh, with the COVID pandemic? Hold on to their passion, remember who they are, remember why they wanted to go to med school and what they cared about. And I've actually asked them to write that all down in a letter to themselves that we'll give them back at graduation. We are very much working to help train our students so that they will be really engaged with their patients and being able to view them as whole people in the context of their whole lives. And we believe that that will make them much more effective um, physicians and advocates for their patients. So that's just part of what I advise our students and other students who reach out to me. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.